This video is being presented by the Creator Network. Special thanks to EA for inviting me to this capture event. What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to one of the most special FIFA 22 videos that you are going to see here on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the secret controls and secret moves from FIFA 22. Before getting started, make sure to smash the like button, let's try and get over 1500 likes, that would be awesome and much much appreciated. Let's kick things off with a new feature, the Super Knock On. In order to perform it, you will have to press and hold the sprint button while the ball is traveling towards your player and afterwards you will have to move two times the right and look in the direction that you want to do the super knock-on. Remember here that it is called a super knock-on because when you move second time the right analog, if you hold it pressed in that direction, the knock-on of the ball will be further away comparing with a normal knock-on when you just move two times the right analog towards the direction where you want to move the ball forward. The big advantage of the super knock-on is the fact that when you are on a counter-attack, you will be able to move the ball further away from the defender. You will be able to surprise him, to dribble him with only one touch of the ball. If you've got a pacey striker and the defender is not uh, that fast or is not well positioned or maybe your opponent is not paying a lot of attention, is not expecting it, the super knock-on is one of the best new features in the game, a feature that can offer you an easy goal on the counter-attack. Moving now to competitive settings and this here is extremely, extremely important. When you are going to play Ultimate Team, when you're going to play Division Rivals, when you're going to play Foot Champions, the competitive settings options will be by default on. And this is why it is so important to get used to these competitive settings. So go now into your controller settings, have them always, always on. Doesn't matter if you play Kickoff with your friends, if you're going to play a draft, if you're going to play any other game modes, make sure to have them on so you get used to them. And then when you go to Division Rivals, when you're going to play your first weekend league in Foot Champions, you will be prepared with the settings. Next, we've got the Explosive Sprint. And remember, this new move has a dedicated tutorial on the channel. It is one of the best new, uh, not skills, best new features available in FIFA 22. It refers to the fact that your player will get a speed boost in the first 2-3 seconds when you activate the sprint, sprint button. Easy to do, as I was saying, all you have to do is move your left analog in the direction you want to run to and press the sprint button, but very careful here. You will have to get perfect timing in order to get past the defender. And very important here, the explosive sprint works best when you are running straight. If you wanna go in the diagonal side, then it's not gonna be as effective as it will be in a straight line. Also, uh, remember that after five meters in the game, after two, three seconds, your player will lose that uh, speed boost, that explosive sprint, and will just continue running normally. This has been done in order to balance this new feature. Imagine having the speed from the first five meters in the rest of the run, then the defenders would just not have any chance uh, to catch the striker. Another superb new feature in FIFA 22 is the fact that the first time skill moves have been enhanced. In previous FIFA versions, we all know as a first time skill move, we used to do the uh, fake shot. Now it is easier to do first time skill moves. Uh, you will be able to do a bow roll or other complicated skill moves and get past the defenders with this. In FIFA 21, it was difficult to do a bow roll because uh, then the game would just knock the ball forward. Now for the um, super knock-on, for the knock-on, you have to press the sprint button and then move the uh, right analog. This uh, gives us the opportunity 
to use the right analog when the ball is traveling uh, to your teammate, to my teammate, and we can do different skill moves. And one of my favorite first time skill moves to perform in FIFA 22 is the ball roll. Extremely easy to do, all you have to do is uh, move and hold the right angle to the left or to the right of the player. Uh, it's effective because it opens up the angle for a pass or for a shot. So if you want to try these first time skill moves, start with the ball roll and afterwards you can test also other skill moves. You might ask yourself, what is this green cursor over your player? On the pitch well I'm gonna explain you immediately what this is it is the teammate contain and it will show your player on the pitch that is pressuring the opponent each time you activate the teammate uh, contain you will get a green cursor over your player uh, thus knowing exactly who is doing the pressure over the uh, over the opponent's team it's a nice new feature Visually, it looks good. I like the fact that it's got a green cursor over there. Uh, it's not uh, a faded red or a faded color. All in all, a nice new visual feature that will help you defend better in FIFA 22. Moving now to icon switching. An extremely interesting new option in defense. Once you press R3 on your PS5 uh, uh, controller, you will see four players on the pitch that can be selected. From that moment on, if you move um, the right analog up to the left, to the right or down, you will be able to select from those four players. Why is this option so interesting? Well, before in previous FIFA versions, you had to move the right analog several times in order to get to a particular player on the pitch. Now you can do it by only pressing uh, two buttons. This will help you a lot when you want to cover the ground on the opposite side of the pitch. Very, very, very important new feature. My advice is to keep it on, test it and master it. Icon switching looks like a very, very OP new addition to FIFA 22. Last but not least, when you get a kickoff, if you press R1 on your PlayStation controller or RB on your uh, Xbox One controller, you will be able to have instantly, immediately, all of your defenders positioned close to the goalkeeper so you can start fast a possession game from your own half. The difference uh, uh, in FIFA 22 comparing with FIFA 21 Previous season, if you pressed R1, you would see the players coming back. Now, by default, if you press it when the ball uh, goes out, you will see the line of defenders uh, in the perfect position from a pass exactly when the play starts. This will be all for today, boys. Don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying the content on the channel. Thank you all for watching. I will be seeing you tomorrow with another tutorial and with the beginning of the Road to Glory series. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye-bye.